Today we're at the city of Elko at Fire Station 3, uh, checking out this BME Fire Trucks Type 3 Model 34. The city of Elko is unique because it is a high desert here and they get hot temperatures in the summertime and days like today here in December, it's 12 degrees outside right now in the middle of the day. This Model 34 features a Tomar dual mode light package that we designed specifically for the use of these type of trucks. Elko uses this not only for wildland, uh, but also for urban interface as well. You'll notice that all the lights on this truck, whether they're scene lights or warning lights, are all surface mounted. Um, we try to keep them as low profile as possible. We did this because we didn't want any kind of branches or uh, any kind of foliage at all to get snagged on any kind of poles or anything that we provided for this vehicle. So this is a significantly strong package uh, for illumination out in the brush, but it's also very streamlined as well. To demonstrate the light package on this vehicle, um, we'll go ahead and we'll fire up the emergency lights. The City of Elko uses red and blue warnings. Uh, so we've got the red warnings up top, blue warnings in the bottom mixed in. Uh, going to the top here, we've got our multifunction lamps. And these are designed to be a dedicated tilt down scene light and a warning light in one. So you notice the top half is flashing. And one of the things I love about our Revolution series, and we hear this all the time, is that when you're standing underneath these, you're not blinded by them. And this is purpose built. These optics are designed to put the light output at a flat horizontal plane so that it's alerting traffic at a further distance not blinding you while you're standing next to the apparatus. When these lights go into the additional scene light mode, that's a different story. Now we're getting that light coming down and illuminating the area around us. So I can be right here working and I've got this giant puddle of light around me. The lower lights, as you just saw, overrode to the additional dual mode function. And this is what we were talking about earlier. When these wildland trucks get off road, these lights can override into what the firefighters and crews need out there, which is more usable white light. Moving to the back of the truck, we see more of our Revolution multifunction lights in 7x9. Uh, the city of Elko on this build picked to have a dual color warning light on top. So you see they're, they're flashing either red and amber or blue and amber. In the lower zone C of this truck, we've got our DOT3 stack. So these are going to be your stop tails, your turn signals, and then the lower uh, lamp is actually a combination between your lower zone C warning um, single, dual color, split, whatever you want it to be, uh, and also your um, DOT reverse light. So we're able to drop from four lamps down to three, less points of failure, less things to maintain, more usable real estate for uh, additional gear. So this is our TRX series. TRX stands for Tomar Rugged Extreme. Well, it's a perfect light uh, for wildland trucks. The TRX series is also uh, adaptable so it can be multiple colors multiple modes it can do illumination it can do white illumination it can do amber illumination and the crews have been talking about how helpful it is for our 30 inch TRX bar that's in the front bumper of this to be able to override to that amber color that doesn't refract back on the um, operators eyes when they're driving like white light does and this is useful not just in fog, but in smoke and in dust. And we've heard it time and again about when these trucks are running out in strike teams. If they're not the first vehicle, they're getting the dust kicked up, they can override that bar. 
Underneath, we have some of our uh, 970 series ground lights. And in the middle of the truck here, we have our uh, 30 inch uh, L-Stick traffic director. And these are modular too. Should something happen to the lights over the lifespan of this truck, the bar doesn't need to be taken off. A module can be swapped out. On top of the vehicle, we have our 970 series. This one is the Black Widow variant. And the 970 series is a light bar that starts its life as an extruded aluminum housing. So we build this LED light bar on a metal chassis that's designed to be the longest lasting and most rugged light bar in the industry. This light bar was ideal for this uh, platform. Doesn't need extra cages to protect plastic. Uh, if the vehicle gets into a situation where one of the modules does break or something happens, those modules can be easily swapped out. Coming around to the front of the Type 3 here, uh, what we're demonstrating down below is some of our dual mode function. So on this, the operator has now engaged the front scene area with the amber override on our TRX 30 inch bar. We've got the Tomar emitter that's externally mounted on this one. This 970 bar also has the ability to override those warning lights to be an additional scene light. This truck can really be an, you know, a, a giant flashlight when it's needed. Well, thanks guys. We appreciate you joining us today here at Elko station number three for the walk around of this type three. The technology and the thought that we've put into these packages that is designed to really do one thing and that's to keep first responders and the public that they serve safer. We wanna thank the city of Elko, the city of Elko Fire Department and Chief Snyder for allowing us the opportunity to come here today. For more, visit tomar.com.